Hello everybody, Arctic here, and welcome back to Pokemon Starlight, Lunar Dark, and last episode we made it to, I don't even remember the name of this route, oh, Route 12, and we took on this guy, everybody on the team is back at full health, like, the only one who didn't have full health was Tane, but he, he's back to having full health now, and I just realized I have three males and three females on my team, I did not realize that up until this point, but I see a... TM back there, I think. Let's see what it is. I really, I, I want to grab it. So let's see what we got. We got secret power. Oh, wonderful. I don't think I'm ever going to use that, but okay. What do we got up here? We got Jabokaberry? Jabokaberry? Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. That's how I'm going to say it. There's an apple here. I am finding a lot of these. Like, a lot of apples. Hello. Hey, did you ever ride a Bolson? No? What the heck's a bolson? Never heard of that. Alright, sh she's probably going to show us what a bolson is now, but i got to fix my my uh, webcam. Here we go. Alright. Oh, so this is a bolson. Okay, uh, I don't know if Huskold can do with this thing. Uh, and no. No, no he cannot. So, we're going to swap out to... Uh, I guess we'll go with Perry. Perry's still still a little behind, so let's just, um, okay. This takedown is so strong. I'm going to fire pledge this thing and try to get this thing out. All right, fire pledge takes it out. So, Perry is now level 44 and trying to learn flare up. What does that do? The user flares his body, which changes its normal type moves into fire type. Well, I don't have fire or normal type moves, so we don't need that. So, we're not going to learn flare up. But we do win the, the battle, so what's, what's over here? Wait, I don't know which way I need to go. Do I need to go up or do I need to go to the right? I'm going to go up first. And, oh, Lake Bliss. This is exactly where I wanted to go. What's up, Kira? Ah, it's you, Arctic. Come over here. You have to see this beautiful lake. It is beautiful. I like it. Do you know about Lake Bliss? It is a man-made lake made over 100 years ago. It was made by a guy who wanted a safe and peaceful place for Pokemon and, or people and Pokemon to come. Over time, the lake grew more beautiful. Lots of Pokemon came here, and now it's blooming more than ever. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll love it. I think I'm going to go to Green Pine City. And there's a, there's a gym, and I heard the leader is using Grass-type Pokemon. Maybe I'll meet you again. Bye. Well, if he's using Grass-type Pokemon, then definitely, my team will probably definitely beat it. I've been coming here for 50 long years. I've made many friends over that time. Oh, yeah? I wonder, what, what can we find around here? I'm curious. Oh, we got a Dark Toad. Sup, little buddy. Um, I forgot Huskold is pretty weak. That's not that, okay. We literally one shot it. All right, Huskold is now level forty six. I thought it was gonna. I thought he was gonna learn a new move. This place is so magical and peaceful. I can see where it gets its name from. It's so blissful. Yeah, it, it's funny. Oh, I forgot we can surf. I don't know how I forgot I can surf, but we got a mine plate over here. Uh, this lake is so clear you can actually see yourself in it what do we got here a track yeah never gonna use that one all right what else do we got around this lake um i don't see anything else so the sh lake is shaped like a heart that's so cool is it really oh it is it, oh i there's a little island in the middle of it what do we got here in english all right let's try to catch this thing I don't know how well I'll get, how well I'll do because all right that didn't do as much as I thought it would and no sweet kiss great now Huskold is is confused maybe we can hit the no Huskold I'm sorry okay I'm just gonna run away oh look it's a heart actually before I do anything else I'm gonna take Huskold out of the front of the party. I'm going to put Flick up first. And what do we got here? Big journeys begin with small steps. That is true. Oh, wow. Pokemon appeared. Oh, okay. That's 
That's wonderful. I didn't know that word. We got a para fox over here. The heck are you? Alright, I don't know what typing you are, but I literally just one shot it, so I'm not gonna find that one out. Alright, well, I feel bad now. Is this like, I wonder if this is like a daily thing where you come back and battle it, or if it's just a one time thing. Because if it's just a one time thing, I literally, I, I messed up real bad. So, it doesn't help that my team is like super high level right now. And I paralyzed this English, so we might be able to catch it. So, I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. And, uh, I gotta, I gotta stock up with the Pokeballs. I have a, I have a crap ton of them, like other ones, but it's probably, uh, yeah, should probably stock up on some Pokeballs. And let's throw, let's throw a Premier Ball. Why not? See if we can get it with this thing. Nope. Alright, um, maybe, okay, let's, let's see what else we got. Maybe... I think I didn't hook it with a rod, so I can't really use that. That's a dive ball. I guess we'll throw. I don't. Is this thing a different? No, it is not. Okay. Well, we'll try the love ball. It's not gonna work, but I lied. It actually worked. I did not think that was gonna work, but okay. Flick is now level forty-four. Um, we got the English. Known as the jewel of the open sea, English love to swim in the ocean. They fall sick and become dog colored when kept in an aqua aquarium or other enclosed areas. Aww. Good thing this one's out in a while. Wait, this one's gonna be in a enclosed area? Oh, technically not, because... It's funny, I never, I never understood that. How did a Pokemon go to their PC? Did they turn, like, into data or something? It always, it always, um, intrigued me. Like when you caught it and I went to the PC. If I win, you have to, you will do my work in the fields, okay? Um, maybe. You're not gonna win, but I guess that's a safe bet. We got a Bowl over here. This is normal Bowl. I might I might evolve mine. I just don't know what I want to evolve it into. I'm still conflicted. Plus, I still don't have some of the stones that I need to evolve a Bowl. I know I can evolve it with a water stone, but I don't know if I want to. This thing is not going to go well for Flick here. So let's go with Perry. I need to get Lavender up some some levels. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to hurt me more than it did. Alright, let's hit the Flame Burst and take this thing out. Or not. Okay, well, Perry's, Perry's going to go down. I am sorry, Perry. I am really sorry. Alright, Bulldog. You're up. I really wish I could figure out some nicknames for the rest of these guys. That'd be great, but, you know. Alright, let's see. We're gonna hit the Mangalofang. I don't know. This might be a good one to use. Actually, hey, it took it out. Alright. We did well. Alright. So we beat him, so we don't have to do the work in the field. Found an apple. I have seven apples. What we got here? Apricorns? Alright. Let's take those. What do we got here? Okay, so I'm guessing all of these are apricorns. Probably. And what do we got? Two more two black ones. Alright. Let's plant some more here. And probably come back later in the game. Try to get some more. We'll plant white one. A we'll plant. Let's see, we'll plant a black one. And let's which one should I plant here? What else do we got? We got green, blue. Let's plant a red. I only have one red left, but oh well. It's not like I really use them. I could I know I could get them changing the Pokeballs. But I don't remember where Kurt was in this game. So and plus, I think I already have a Pokemon. I think he's already made me one. I just have to... Wait. Search for my friends. Where? What do you mean, search for my friends? Are they both... I know I saw Kira. I don't remember where... I don't remember where, um... <coughs> Oh, that cough 
came out of nowhere. Whew. Okay. I think I'm good. All right, we're back, and whew. Yeah, I, I that cough came out of nowhere, as I was saying. I don't know where Rodney said he was going. Um, but is he still at the the farm? I don't know. I don't know where to go. It's down here. And she, oh, the safari zone. That's where he was going. Oh, uh, look, there he is. Hey, Rodney, what's up? Hey, Arctic, you made it. This is the Pokemon Safari Zone. Here you can find Pokemon you can't find anywhere else. It's a pretty cool place. It's like a game. You have 30 Safari Balls and a certain amount of time to capture as many Pokemon as you can. I've tried it, and I caught some pretty cool Pokemon. How about it? Show you in a battle? Yeah, come on. Wait, should have healed up first. Uh, oh no. I'm currently down some Pokemon, so I mean, I don't know how well this is going to go. Um, it probably isn't going to go well. Uh, we got a Leonite. What are you? Are you an electric type? I think this might be an electric type. I don't know. I've never seen this one. Alright, we take it out anyway, so we don't, I still don't know what typing it is. Um, Flick is almost, and I, I know you are an electric type. You're also a flying type, which is, I, I should have switched up. Yeah, mistakes were made. Alright, um, I don't have, I don't have Perry. And I don't think I have, um, any revives, so, that energy ball did so much damage, Tonic is gonna go down, um, I am just currently getting destroyed here, uh, I know this thing is electric type, but I think Cool Dog can take this, this out, let's hit the Aqua Slam. And hopefully, all right, we take out the terrible. Awesome. Thankfully, I didn't use any electric type. But besides, we were faster anyway. Uh, I remember you. I'm gonna use a Mangalo Fang. And hopefully, the okay one shot. I mean, Pull Dog is almost ten levels above this thing, so we got a bulker. Hey, I remember you. You evolved from the weak kid. You look a lot different. Thank you for the wake up slap. I was falling asleep. But we're gonna hit the Mangalo Fang again. Uh, yeah. Mangalo Fang again. I completely messed up my words there. And then we're gonna hit the Aqua Jet, take this thing out. Alright. Bulker is now down. What else do you got? You got a Salsa Slam. Or a Salsa Salsa Slam. I thought that said Salsa <laughs> Wow. Yeah. I am bad today. Can't read, can't talk. Alright, this thing knows brick break. Oh boy. Alright, let's hit the Aqua Slam and see what that does. It does more than I thought it would. And this thing knows Acid Spray. Thank God Flick ain't out here. But it'd be nice to have a uh, grass type move because I'm pretty sure this thing is water. But Bulldog should. Oh, um, I was going to say I spoke too soon because. I'm going to say, Poldog should be able to take this thing out, but nope. Oh, no. Oh, Lavender lives at six. Good job. So take it out with the magical leaf. Did we win? Lavender's 42. Uh, we got the Bawool. Oh, no. Uh, let's hit the Fairy Wind. See what that does. Actually, it, the Fairy Wind does nothing. All right, who do we have left? We got Huskold. Uh, okay, let's, let's heal up. Um, yeah, I don't have any revives and nothing. So, I guess we'll just use a super potion on us, Huskold here, and hopefully... Okay, so this thing is just going to go for headbutt. So let's go for Ice Fang, and see what that does. We take out the bobble. Alright, what's next? Do we win? Alright, we beat Rodney. Not again. Yes, again. Oh no, I thought I could win. Here, let me heal your Pokemon. Thank you, Rodney. I didn't want to run back to the Pokemon Center. I am thankful for you. Alright. I will go I will go to Rassic City. I heard that you can get a rare Pokemon if you beat a famous trainer there. Next time, I will win. Haha. <laughs> or maybe not. 
Bye. Yeah, I see ya. Let's talk to these guys here. The most ferocious Pokemon in Safari Zone is the mighty Leonite. His claws can cut just about anything. If you think that's amazing, wait till you hear Leonite ha that Leonite have a secret power within them that only a handful of trainers have managed to unlock. The largest Pokemon in the Safari Zone is a giant Elastomp. Although you may not find Elastomp out there, you'll find the cute Roly, which evolves into Elastomp. There's a spooky fable about Elastomp, though. Legend says that they are the protectors of the long departed Pokemon in the Safari Zone. No one has yet to discover a secret to them, though. Oh, awesome. We are all from Kalos region. We came to Ro Roko yeah, Rokoto to see the famous Safari Zone. Let us show you what we caught. Oh, okay, so you battle. Cool. I did not know that. We got two Poke fans here. We got a Zebra Knight and a, a Bolson. Yeah, that's not surprising. Uh, I don't know what typing Zebrite is. It looks. It might. I don't know. I honestly can't. Say, I, I honestly can't say. But I know Bolson is normal type. So. Okay, so Zebrite is seems to be a. Psychic type. Oh, the Bolson knows retaliate. Wonderful. All right, we're going to bug bomb the Zebrite and then hit the Aqua Jet and the Bolson. That's not going to take it out. Yeah, Zebrite is a psychic type, and Flick is now confused, which is probably going to. Oh no, we hit it. We hit the bug bomb. Cool. All right, and we paralyze. Zebrite, and we paralyze ourselves. Oh, it's got synchronized. No, flick! Ooh. Alright. We're gonna try to hit the X Scissor, and we'll take out the Zebrite with an Aqua Slam. Flick is probably gonna hit himself. Flick is now level 45. Bulldog is 49. Oh, no, Flick is gonna get taken down. Great. Alright. Let's throw out Lavender. Probably not gonna need a need her, but you know, oh maybe we will. All right, let's hit the light burst on this uh, Flapinko, and then we'll hit the Aqua Jet on Bull Sun and take it out. What else you got there, uh, Pokefan? Oh, this thing knows uproar. Wonderful. I wonder if Lavender can take it out. That light light burst did nothing. Oh, it, oh no. All right, um. Let's hit the Mangalo Fang. Oh, we're not even going to be able to because that shock was going to take out Bulldog. That's wonderful. I like it. A lot. Alright, let's just see what the Petal Blizzard does to these guys. Probably not going to do much. Could have done a little bit more. Let's hit Tonic and see how well he does out here. Let's hit the Fairy Wind on the Flipinko. And we'll hit the rollout on the Chi Trick. Lavender. Oh, okay. Lavender's probably going to get taken out. Yeah, look at that. I knew it. Let's see what the rollout does. Not much. The Flipinko is done with the uproar, so we're good there. Alright, Huskold. Let's see what you got. Oh, no. Okay. I thought that Shock was going to do more than it, more than it did. That Ice Fang did more than I thought it was. I like it. Let's see if we can take it out. And we took out the Cheaterick with the rollout. Alright, did we win? We did. We beat Alana and Jared. It was a nice battle. Took out two of my Pokemon, but, you know. It's whatever. Alright. How do I... Uh, I need to get back to the Pokemon Center so I can heal up. And then... Actually... And uh, I'm just going to end off this episode here. In the next one, we'll move on to the next town or city, whatever one comes first. I don't remember. I think it might be the green. I forgot the names. I'll have to look it up. But in the next episode, we'll head off to the next, next area and complete Route 12. So if you guys are ready for that, then like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified every time a new video goes up on the channel. That's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in the next video.